We've likely all heard the saying, it's not the heat, but the humidity that gets you. And research shows how true that is. It's known as the wet bulb temperature. That's the reason why humidity is such a big impact, because it does really increase our heat stress. Uh, although the temperature might be the same, we can't cool ourselves off. Wet bulb temperature refers to the measurement where sweat on the human body or water on a thermometer can no longer evaporate. And that's a big problem when sweating is the body's mechanism for cooling itself off. That limit was originally believed to be 35 Celsius, but recent research found it could actually be as low as 31 degrees with 100% humidity. Humans can stand heat to an extent, but a 2010 study showed being in a wet bulb temperature of 35 degrees for more than six hours can seriously impact health. A person's normal physiologic mechanisms for coping with extreme heat start to uh, not be able to cope with that heat. Doctors say the impact can include heat exhaustion, causing people to feel unwell or even experience nausea and dizziness. Where it becomes dangerous is when it progresses to heat stroke, a medical emergency causing confusion and different levels of consciousness. If conditions get to that point, people are urged to try and cool the person down and call 911 immediately. With those potential risks and no sign of a cool summer ahead, there are things people can do to stay safe. So the answer is not necessarily to go indoors if you don't have access to air conditioning. So I think that really what, what we need to inform people of is like they need to get to a cool space. Taking cool baths and showers and drinking enough water can also help you stave off some of the heat. But doctors say people need to plan for those days so they can stay cool, even if the temperatures aren't dropping anytime soon. Sean Preville, Global News.